Most of the times, our mouth is a weapon. Our mouth will take us to our glory or our mouth will take us to our doom. Our mouth is that one that controls our life. The power of the tongue and the power of the word. Um, sometimes, ignorantly, people don't even know there's power in the word and there's power in what we say. What we say, it goes spiritually and you, um, you are what you say. It's just like they say for people who do exercise, you are what you eat. So I will say you are what you say because when you keep prophesying those good things that happen to you, when you keep prophesying those negative things that come to you, um, faith is um, faith is an evidence of something that you have not seen but we hope for. In Hebrew, that's faith. You keep hoping that I am a success, I am a success, I'm going to be better, I'm going to be better. You see yourself gradually. You keep prophesying, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it. The doctor tell you you're going to die. Say, I will not die. They live to declare the word of God. I will not die to live to declare the word of God. The doctor keep telling you that um you don't have children. Say, my children are like the stars. You see that what keep Abraham. Abraham had no children for a long time. But Abraham will go outside and look at the stars. Say, Father God, you promised me that um, my children are like the stars. Look at the stars. I can't even count them. He will see hopeful. When discouragement will come, the Bible tells us that everybody in Abraham's house is made because Abraham was wealthy. They keep having children. The mate will just want to sleep around anyhow and they have kids. The house help, the house boy, everybody. They are just having kids that they cannot even care for. But Abraham, um, no matter the amount of money that he has, he was unable to... Um... Sorry about that. No matter the amount of money that Abraham has, Abraham was unable to to care for his um. Abraham was unable to. Abraham was unable to feed his um. Abraham was able to. He didn't have that privilege to have children like just like the other people, so he was not privileged to have money to have children, and he keep asking the God um. And Sarah was so disturbed. But Abraham had that faith. Abraham said, I know my redeemed living. I know my God living. God cannot see me. God cannot pass me by. That's why we need the word of God. You cannot do without the word of God. You need the word of God. Even just to take one remand word and hold. I remember when I was down um, back in Africa, the remand word I had when I gave my life to Christ was Jeremiah 32, 27 hours. At that lowest point in my life. I am the God of all human race. Is there anything too impossible for me to do? He is the God of all. That word keep me going. No matter the failure, I say, God, you're the God of all human race. Is there anything impossible for you to do? Father God, you do it in my life. Father God, you do it in my life. You do it in my life. Come to me, all, all you that have even had it, and I'll give them rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I will give them rest. I will give them rest. So those what you need rima word to hold you down. Sometimes um you need those rima words that are going to hold you. They are going to uplift you. They are going to um make you um energize you. They are going in time of trauma in those situations that you are passing through that problem you are about to give up. But you hold on to the tower. He is the God of all race. He is I am that I am. No matter your profession, no matter your occupation. I don't know. I know someone is passing through. But I come to tell someone this morning that keep prophesying. Keep saying those good words. Keep saying those good things. Keep prophesying. Keep calling his name. He is the God. Let's pray this morning. I don't know where you ever you're watching me from. You did not just step into this video by mistake. Father God, I call upon your name. I pray for peace. I pray for peace. I pray for peace. Father God, I call upon your name. For those that are heartbroken, oh Jesus, I pray for peace in their life. I pray for peace. For those that are depressed, I pray for peace. Oh Jesus, for those that say, Lord, I cannot have children. Father, empower them and give them babies. Father God, I pray for everyone connected. Father God, I call upon your name. Jesus, Jesus, reign. Father, reign with your fire. Reign. Holy Ghost, reign. Holy Ghost, reign. Reign tonight in this place. Father, reign, reign, reign. I pray for favor. I pray for favor. I pray for the power of God upon their life. 
oh jesus we say thank you for everything for in jesus name we pray you amen amen and say be talking like that say be oh i am the lord the god of grace is there anything too hard for me be oh i am the god the god of flesh is there anything too hard for me is there anything 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 too hard for me is there anything too hard for me be oh i am the god the god of flesh is there anything too hard for me i don't know those are looking for marriage nothing is hard those that need a job nothing is hard those that keep doing one thing over and over failing examination nothing is hard those that are looking for a crown of a baby nothing is hard those that say god i don't have money to feed my family nothing is hard he's a god of all human race <coughs> he's a god then the fishermen were there they catch nothing but when jesus came they catch they catch the fish until they needed help i don't know what you're doing in that business you need help from Jesus. If Jesus comes into that business, you're going to need help. It means you're going to hire another person to help you. You're going to need help. He is the God of abundance. He say, I am the God of yesterday, today, and forever. He is still alive. He is still alive. He is still alive. He is still alive. Father, I thank you very much. You didn't watch me just by mistake. If you have not given your life to Christ, just um, say, Father God, I thank you. Make me take control over my soul. Make me the Lord over my life. Father God, I want to know you more better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look for a Bible-believing church and make Jesus the Lord over your life. And there will be a change. 2023, we are going to see changes in our life. Amen.